Crash Bandicoot on the run. Today, we are tackling a new enemy last episode. We took out Scorporella. Today, we are tackling a new enemy last episode. We took out Scorporella. Today, we are tackling a new enemy last episode. We took out Scorporella. Today, we are tackling a new enemy last episode. We took out Scorporella. Today, we are tackling a new enemy last episode. We took out Scorporella. Today, we are tackling a new enemy last episode. We took out Scorporella. Today, we are tackling a new enemy last episode. We took out Scorporella. Today, we are tackling a new enemy last episode. We took out Scorporella. Today, we are tackling a new enemy last episode. We took out Scorporella. Today, we are tackling a new enemy last episode. We took out Scorporella. Today, we are tackling a new enemy last episode. We took out Scorporella. Today, we are tackling a new enemy last episode. We took out Scorporella. Today, we um, but we also want Coco in the last episode. I'm not sure how we switch over to her. Uh, but as you can see, Coco Bandicoot, she also has her own skin. That I guess will have its own abilities and stuff. Whoa, and I guess this is the store. So the vending machine. There are free rewards you're like claiming by watching an ad. Not too interested in doing that right now. But there's like daily deals, like a free three nitrous fungus. Or nitric fung fungus. There you go. But then there's like different skins and stuff we can get for crystals, which I assume we could pay for crystals. Yeah, right down this way. Um, interesting, for sure. But for right now, I'm just gonna keep looking through. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna be buying anything just right yet. We still have cocoa and stuff to check out and stuff, so that'll be cool. There is something over here though, we can set up another nitro serum. All right, might as well. Now, these other ones we don't quite have unlocked yet. Like I need 10. I have five, so we can take a look at the map and see where they might be available and stuff. You can see there's like other, are these other enemies or are these unlockable characters? I'm not really sure how this works. I think that these are enemies. Um, so like this would actually have some of the materials we're looking for, but I don't think that's what we need to tackle at the moment. I think that for right now, our goal is just to do this stuff, right? I'm not really sure. Oh, I see, but we can't quite do that right now because we would need some of this stuff to actually go into the level. So that's where it's like, it's currently being made. It's almost there, it needs 20 more seconds. We might as well wait for that one. Interesting, is there anything more I can do in the meantime? It looks like there's like other labs and stuff. But you can see how this sort of works. Whoa, you can just go over here. Interesting. Hmm. So it's like a lot of like management as well. Very interesting to sort of like learning the game and how it works and everything. And we also have the Aku Aku quest, so we need to collect glow bark, make nitrous, nitro serums, and defeat a henchman. Uh, shouldn't it shouldn't be too bad. All right, this is done. Might as well set up another one in the meantime, because it only takes a minute. And there we go, we should be good to take on the frosty antron. We've taken out the, uh, the nitro antron. The frosty one's new. So let's get to it, but how do I play as Coco? Oh, here we go. Switch over to Coco. Here we go. And I don't know if she has like any different abilities if she plays the same. See, why did that hurt me? Did I spin too soon? Because that keeps happening to me recently. Hmm, okay, definitely dodging that one. No, thank you. Okay, that time I definitely spun in time. I don't know what happens if I die as an happen to us just yet. Whoa, we're going up here. All right. Gotcha. Not too bad. Yeah, so far the game is actually really fun, really enjoyable. Whoa, I could have gone down that line. Seems good to me though to be up here. We're still getting stuff. It doesn't seem like there's like any like Completion markers though for like getting all the crates in level. It doesn't seem like we get any gems for that as we would like in a normal crash game. Which is a bit interesting. I do plan on, and I mentioned this last episode, getting back to Crash Bandicoot 4. I know I've been a little busy with other projects, so I haven't been able to fully complete that game. I did beat the main game, of course, but doing the inverted levels is my next goal. And I'm really looking forward to that because I had a lot of fun with that game. Ready, boom, got it. There we go. All right then, uh, looks like it's in my best interest to go this way. Now we're falling down into the cave. Huh, whoa, whoa, okay, that hurt. Thought I had a little bit more room to work with there. Oh, and there we go, here's the frosty ant drone. I think we can handle it. What I'm curious about is can I like hit more than one set of boxes at a time? I don't think so. But the normal crates only give me one lump of fruit, while the other ones give me four. But so far out of all the crash games, this one reminds me the most of Crash 2. Oh, close enough, that was the best one we've done yet. 
Okay, so as you can see, we get a power gem, as per usual. Like, we get a gem for defeating an enemy, but we don't get one for, like, getting out of crates or some kind of completionist bonus like that. Uh, not too bad. Great progress. Save your game so that you will never lose your progress. This allows you to pick up from where you left off on any device. So I guess I, I could do this on my own time. Not gonna worry about it right now. Um, Very cool. I did see this, this is the silo, which I think all my running, like there was like a, there was like a picture of a coin with Crash's foot on it. I'm not really sure what this says, uh, but I guess there's a silo here. And Wumpa fruit. Crash's favorite food can be collected on runs. Sure, but what does it do? There's like a lot of stuff here. I'll have to put together trophies. Don't have the power gems for those. Anyways, I need to get my next one. Set up another. Seems good to me. Okay, so this next one down this way, we actually need two serums. And what about these other ones? Like this one needs like a little bomb, it looks like. We could take on this guy in the meantime. But I do want to see, what does this need? What does this require? Bark and then more of the mushroom. So that's where we're gonna start having to go on like ingredient hunts. So maybe that's something I can actually get started with right now. Yeah, let's run. Okay, Turtle Woods collection run. Got all sorts of ingredients we'll probably get from this. We'll play as Coco again. We'll just jam out with Coco in today's video, I think. See, that time I thought I spun too soon, but I guess I could just like constantly spin forever. So yeah, I guess if I was really lazy, I could just do this the whole time. You can like spin a bunch too. <laughs> all right, I don't wanna make Coco dizzy. Or do I? Um. Yeah, let's keep going down this way. But yeah, I'd love to hear, have you guys been able to try Crash Bandicoot on the run yourself yet? And what are your thoughts on it? Do you think it's good, bad, somewhere in between? Love to hear. I do want to take a look at Coco's other skin though. See what abilities that might give us. Okay, so I want to go this way. I do not want to leave yet. I want to collect more stuff. See, I was able to break that and get up here, which is what I'm typically trying to do. Ah, uh, couldn't quite sort of Multitask it correctly that time. Okay, I wanna go get these ingredients. Both are important, I'm sure, but I think this is the one I need more of. There we go. There's my first three of those, I need more. Cause I've gotten some of the spark. See, this is where, ah, oh, I missed both of them. I was trying to see if I couldn't hit like both at once. But like in a typical crash game, you would probably be able to do that, yeah. I wonder how long it'll let me go on for, like forever? A little curious. Uh, let's let's pop down here. Maybe there'll be more ingredients on this way. So far, just wumpa fruit. So there's like a way you can sort of do it. It's not easy though. Just gonna spin through all that. So we're getting a lot of ingredients here, actually. Bounce me up there. I think the next chance we get to leave, we'll take it and see how much we've like earned up from all this. Yep, so now we can go home. But yeah, feasible, you could just do this. Seems like forever. All right, ready? Boom, our last one. We got tons of bark. And a little bit of the mushrooms, which is, we just need some of them. All right, so as you can see, seven, it was like, yeah, a thousand, uh, Coins or footsteps or whatever that's supposed to symbolize, I'm not sure. We can watch and add the double it. Uh, no thank you. Okay, so, we're a little bit more suited up now. I wanted to get back to over here though. Collect this one, make an additional one. Well actually, maybe we should make the bomb now because that's gonna take five minutes. Do the thing that'll take extra time. Uh, but now we can take on this guy, this interesting elephant, frosty pink elephant defeat with one of these serums. Sounds good to me. All right, we're back as Coco. What is her other costume? It costs 100 uh, crystals. You need to the lab assistant. Gives her, when I see, the same set. Like, it doesn't look any different in terms of like the ability it gives. So like, why would I get it besides aesthetics? I don't know. All right. Uh, oh, gotcha. So far, we're getting some decent Wumpa Fruit from this one. Oh, I didn't even see that down there. Ah, oh, but I messed up my spin again. 
little things like that I gotta try to stay on top of. But so far, you know, really fun mobile game. I, I didn't know what to expect from it. Cause the weird thing about this game is that it was sort of like on the way for a while. I think it's been announced like over a year ago now. And I was like, I wonder if they like canceled it or something. Cause it just seemed like they went totally silent and now it's here. So that's pretty cool. I'm just glad that Crash Bandicoot is becoming sort of more of a active franchise again. There was like such a long period of time where there just like wasn't really going mu on much with Crash. So it's just really cool to see him sort of back in action, having his, what I believe is, I think this is like the first Crash Bandicoot mobile game. At least the only one I can really think of. Um, unless you're talking like mobile consoles, like, you know, like some of the Game Boy Crash games, which honestly, I would love to play more Crash Bandicoot games. Of course, I've already played like the remakes and stuff and I wanna play more Crash 4, but it would be really fun to go back and play maybe some of the Crash GBA games or even some of the Crash games on PlayStation 2 and GameCube were pretty good in my opinion. There you go, I got the two for one. Almost up to 200 Wumper Fruit. Not really clear what I used the Wumper Fruit for, but it's probably good to have as many as I possibly can. So we can like slam down from being way up. Whoa, we got the frosty pink elephant. He's dancing. He's got the moves. I'm guessing he's gonna be throwing. What do we do? Oh, wow, whoa. Uh, never mind. I thought he was going to be like throwing like frosty energy attacks or something. Like little snowballs. But no, he does this weird sort of like psych out technique. There we go. Not the best timing, but we get some decent stuff for it. Don't lose your hat. See you in your dimension. All right then, so you got a power gem. Power gems unlock, lots of cool stuff. All right then. Frosty Pink Elephant, level one, not too bad. And we're so close to unlocking like seven out of eight. Like once we get to eight, I guess we unlock new areas and stuff or something. Not too bad. All right then, so what is this? The starter pack unlocks the biker crash skin. Oh, maybe I'll do that next episode. That seems like fun. All right, Aku's Aku's quests. Um, we actually did a decent job, so we got all those done. And we have almost 1,500 Wampa Fruit, that is a ton. What's Crash gonna do with all those? But yeah, what is this up here? This is also like another special offer, we get like extra stuff. See, so yeah, I think we'll check out the Biker Crash skin next episode. But right now though, what do we need for our next battle? We have one here cost two serums, and then this one is one serum and the bomb thing, which is still being made. Is the five minutes still not up? Oh no, it's here. No, it's not. I need to wait an additional minute. All right then, so this is all finished up. And now that it is, we can make another one of these. We are a little low on bark. So if I want to make an additional one after this, which I do, we're gonna have to go on a run. So let's go and figure that out then. So just like a quick run, I think is all we need. Uh, I wonder if, can we just do this as many times as we want? Do we have to pay to do this eventually, maybe? All right, keeping with normal Coco. Let's get moving. So, we're just gonna run through all this. And I'm just gonna go through like, the first set of it and the first chance we get to like skedaddle, we will. But I'm mostly just looking for the Bart. This is where the, these kind of games can be a big grind is just sort of getting all these materials. It takes a lot of work. And that's sort of how these games are designed and why it can be difficult to make a series on them, is it's not, not really made to be played a half an hour in one go. Um, eventually they get to this point where it's like, you sort of play for like five minute instances. I feel like we didn't get any materials there, so I gotta go for another one. Um, so like that's where it can be difficult to make, make content on this kind of game. I definitely have experienced that with like some of the other mobile games we've covered. Some of them not so much, but some of them definitely. Actually, I need to get this one. I really want that step, but I really need this step more. Hmm. Cause like I just haven't been getting any of the materials. I just keep getting one for free, which I have plenty of. There we go. There's more bark. That gave me three of them. Where the two boxes gave me three. But it is what it is. Let's just keep moving. Guess I messed up my timing there. All right. I don't see any up there. So there has to be some down here, right? Maybe, maybe not. Oh well. There we go. I love being able to do that, though. That's cool. 
Like, where are my materials? That's the sole reason I'm playing this. It's so weird. It definitely is not giving me as much as it used to. And that's another thing is that like they'll start you with a lot of stuff and then they'll slowly slow it down. So it takes even more work to grind it up. So that's just like, you know, I don't think this will be like a 100 episode series is all I'm saying. Okay, well hopefully that was enough. I think it is. It's just weird how little materials it actually gave us there. All right, well there we go. We got more of the bark. So, how many do I have? I got three. I think, I really hope I didn't need four. I might actually go and double this one, just to be sure. All right, we got some extra materials now. Uh, we should be good just to grab that, make another one, no problem. And we should be able to get to one of these levels now, right? Which one should we do first? I guess it doesn't matter too much. Like We could do that one. We could do this one. What did this one. This guy's new. But then we should be able to handle most stuff pretty well. I don't know if we need materials to take on the main boss or not. We'll find out sooner or later. We're gonna keep with Coco for today's episode. Next episode will definitely be about Crash again because we'll play with that biker Crash skin. Ah, uh, a little too late for that one. Okay. Yeah, you can see our steps sort of slowly go up there on the top left. I, I Sometimes, it sort of goes away after a while. But I guess that more than anything, that's just supposed to sort of keep track of your progress. It's not supposed to be some kind of currency. Maybe it's not, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to get to new areas and stuff. I think we'll be able to do that once we get to a certain amount of gems, so that'll be cool. All right, let's take you out. And there's a bunch of stuff. What's interesting is that for these levels, it doesn't really seem like it matters which way you go. There's gonna be one for fruit, no matter what time. Obviously, the only thing is just trying to be careful so you don't get knocked out. Like, we don't have any Wump or Aku Akus right now. So if we do get hit, I'm guessing we'll have to do the whole thing over. I wonder if we lose, oh, you know what we probably do? If we do die here, I'd hate to imagine that we'd lose our materials and have to remake more of them. So let's be extra careful. There we go. We got it, we got it. There's our checkpoint. Get out of here, Mr. Turtle. Thank you. Because I'm sure that with, you know, a new area, there'll be like new mechanics and stuff, so that'd be pretty cool to check out. There we go. Nitro Mini Robot. I don't know if this is like one of uh, Engine's creations or something. Oh, let's see if we can't get the double, double box, there you go. Ah, oh, I didn't even see that. That was unfortunate. Luckily, we have two Aku Aku hits. Well, now we're down to one, but definitely makes it a little bit easier. Jump. And jump over that one too, we're almost there. Not bad, whoa, two of them. O okay, I wasn't expecting two of them, that's pretty cool. See ya, buddy. Oh, I see, because we made two things. We made like two potions, we to throw both of them at him. Cool. All right, so as you can see, we got a bunch of stuff there. We got eight out of eight, out of eight gems. So I guess we, like, we unlocked the Frosty Lab. Frosty Portal Weapons can be created here. We got the Frosty Serum, a serum of pure liquid frost. And then finally, Lost City. Go unlock this new land from the map as soon as you have enough power gems to warp to it. Exciting. Indeed it is. So that's cool, we got new unlocks like that. We got Aku Aku's quests. So um, Crash and Coco complete these tasks to, to save the multiverse. So we have to go on a collection run in Lost City, cut chill berries, and go on a collection run in Turtle Woods. We're doing a lot of both of those things. So what is this about? This is Repair the Frosty Lab. We need these materials. We have them now. Not too bad. So I can put one of these here. This one takes a lot longer. This one takes 10 minutes. So getting started with it as soon as possible seems to be in our best interest. There we go. Okay, so we got this last guy. We have enough serum for him, so it shouldn't be too bad of a deal just to hop on in. There's gonna be another nitro crab. Let's run. 
And then after this, we should be able to take on Nitrous Bria. So that's cool. Alrighty, boom, got him. Okay, maybe I'll launch myself over that. It really doesn't matter too much as long as we're making our way through the level without getting hit too much. That's what I'm mostly looking for. Oh no, we're falling down here. Hmm. Just like getting extra Wumpel Fruit here and there is probably useful as well. Oh, definitely want this. See, but I, I'm not invincible right now. I thought that was the third one. Maybe it's only the second. We'll try to get to our invincibility now. That would be cool. Okay. I guess the one that counts as a spare hit from the costume doesn't stack up or something. Like, maybe that's what it is. Because now we're invincible. Yeah, okay. We're moving, we're moving. Boom, just take that out. Very cool so far. Do we get this the entire level though, is my question. What happens if I run into one of these? Boom, you just destroy it. You destroy everything. So it does not last forever. You gotta be careful of that. So if I do see another one, I should take it. Okay. So far we're making this work quite well. Long level though. We just reached a checkpoint, so I think we're running up on it here in a moment. Oh, Nitro Crab. Whoa, that's a big one. Does he only make the big ones? I guess we're about to find out. I guess not, that was, that was a small one that just rolled by me, so. We're good, we're good. There you go. And, ready? Oh, we got it, right in the center. That was my best one yet. Very cool. Okay, so with that completed, we get ourselves a new power gem. Slowly gonna be unlocking, hopefully, a new set of things. We're about to find out. But there we go, all the enemies before Brio have been taken out, his whole gang. Oh, it's gonna unlock a Dingo Dial. A gang and a gang of henchmen. Which I guess is who we'll be taking on next episode. But for right now, special offer, we know, we know. Leave me alone with the special offers for now. Uh, I'll click that, put this there. Oh, I'm out of bark. Okay, well, I'll leave that for now then. I think, can I just take on Embryo? No, I do need more stuff. Oh, all right, well that's gonna take some grinding, isn't it? So there is a new area here, which unlocks new stuff as you can see. I don't think we quite need that for right now. Um, I think that's probably just something a location we'll check out next episode, because I need more Nitro Serum for this. Which, like, you know, I could buy some for crystals if I really wanted to speed it up. I'd like to save those for costumes and stuff. I thought like that'd be the coolest thing. This still needs six minutes anyways, so I think that's what we need. It's one of those, and then one of those. What will that require, then? I need seven more bark and three more mushrooms. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go and just run through this again until we have those materials. Okay, so one thing I realized about the um, running for materials is that the farther you get into it, that means the farther you'll have to go next time to even get to the materials. Maybe like it refreshes every day or something. Um, but that's so you can't replay it over and over again and get the materials. Like you have to play farther into it. Either way, we need to make one of these now. And this will take me a couple of extra minutes, I'm sure. Um, you guys gonna take five minutes. So while that's doing its thing, this one is almost done. So we have some extra time, I guess. We should go ahead and check out this new area. Seems pretty cool to me. It's the Lost City. Um, so yeah, once again, this is like a crash, cr crash, classic crash thing. Um, continue with Coco, where we uh, had the jungle before. Now we have like these Lost Cities, which was definitely a thing in Crash One and sort of in Crash Two. Not as much Crash Three. They didn't have this aesthetic too much. There you go. So we'll just be trying to run through and get materials. But if we're like taking this upper path next time, if we were to stop this level, like if we were to leave right now to our left, and then go through this, the upper level wouldn't really have materials if we replayed it. So that's where we gotta be careful and try to like, you know, if we go one way this time, we gotta go a different way the next time. So, so far this area is really cool and ominous. I like that. Maybe we'll get some of this stuff, because we don't really need to into the frosty stuff for today's video. Ooh, you gotta peer that. There you go. So we're getting some extra materials from this, which is cool. Glad to get them. 
And I guess we'll go up here? Yep, this has materials for us. And if I, f yeah, there we go, if I fall down there, I get some extras. So, you know, obviously, if we look ahead, make some skilled plays, maybe we can get some extra stuff out of this. So far though, doing pretty good. I forget what we can, what we can even use these for. I think building more like buildings on the main map area. There we go, we got both of those. I really like being able to do that. We're about to become invincible as well, so it'll be even easier just to sort of run through. You can't like swipe two of them fast enough, unfortunately. And I think I'll leave with that. Well, I mean, I say that, but I probably should have kept going because we still have to wait like a good couple of minutes anyways. Oh well. I'm sure we can do something with all that. Whoops. <laughs> all right, pretty cool. So as you can see, we get over almost 13,000 steps ran so far. And some extra materials. So we got three of those done. That's gonna be some even, like, even more materials. Very, very nice to have all that. And we have that one. I'm gonna load up another. Oh, I can't. I don't have enough of these frozen shells. Later then, later. But what about this one? This one still needs two and a half minutes, yikes. So we're still on the grind before we can take him on. So yeah, that's where I was a little curious at. Coming soon, I don't even know what that is. Uh, This is the cell for farming. You don't have anything here yet. We don't have like the proper parts for it. But maybe that's where I can use other things. Like I don't have the right parts for that one, I guess or this one. It's very weird. <laughs> huh. Yeah, there's stuff all over the place now. All right then, so we finally have this one earned up. Do I have enough materials to like get started on another? Because the sooner the better. I don't, not even close to the mushrooms, yikes. Okay, but I do have enough for this. Might as well get started with one. And that's where it's just like, these games become grindy and it's like you set up something up and then you just have to wait 10 minutes. It's like, it's very hard to record a video like that. So I'm not gonna complain about it anymore. But just to give an idea of like why sometimes I'll like start some series on mobile games and I'll do a couple episodes, but then I'll stop after that. A lot of people will request more episodes. It gets very difficult at times, but I definitely still wanna show the game. I don't wanna ignore it, you know? Um, like this, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. It's just not something I think I'll play a huge ton of. We'll see that. If a lot of people really, really want to see it, I'll definitely try to. Either way, tangent aside, we're gonna go through. We're gonna take out Embryo here. It'll be cool. Okay, that was a little weird, but it worked. Oh, there's a trophy up here. Nice. I'll take a trophy. I don't, I don't really know what the trophies do still, but we'll figure it out sooner or later. Doesn't look like there's any more up that way. Oh my. Um, That was not good. So you can't jump and spin. No, you can. It just didn't work. Weird. All right, well, we got a checkpoint. Maybe that means we're running into uh, another enemy soon, but there's another trophy. Don't mind if I do. Okay. I don't want to fall down that pit. That's not one of the pits that leads to a cave, I don't think. Okay, so. I'm gonna throw that one. And this one. Uh, I thought I could maybe swipe at the right time. Oh boy, I really messed it up. Oh no, we got knocked out. Warping the checkpoint or I can, okay, well, I don't want to watch an ad. So we'll just, yeah, go back. We just unlocked the checkpoint, it's not a big deal. Uh, continue with what you collected. Yeah, of course. All right then. So let's go up here again. I don't get extras out of it, unfortunately. There you go. Just gotta be more careful. I was sort of being silly there, taking more risks than I had to. We'll be fine this time. Slide under that just barely. Whoa. I'm just gonna, I'm trying to not make mistakes anymore. Throw that one down that way. Ooh, got two for one now, very good. I'll throw it. I don't know if like what happens if they explode. But I don't wanna find out, like if they explode while we're holding them. We're going down here now. Gotcha. So spinning these guys away, not too big of a deal. Was hoping for some extra Aku Aku stuff, but we'll survive, we'll find a way. I should get all of those, very good. We have over 300 Oompa Fruit from this level alone. Like it's going really good in some ways. 
That'll give us another trophy, up to 20 of them. Whoa, and there he is, Nitrous, or Nitro Nitro Spree out. Oh boy. Let's take him down. I'm gonna jump over that. So we basically just have to hit him with stuff. Ah, oh, but I, I didn't time that very well. Oh my. Uh, Cause when he's not so low, whoa. Okay, that's still counted, very good. Whoa, okay, that could have been a big problem. Let's let him throw his little rock. Have some fun with that, buddy. That got him, this could be the last one. Ah, oh, darn. Okay, I don't need to be up there. And throw another rock. And I'll throw that over. And that's gotta get him, right? There it is! Okay, throwing those extra potions at him. See ya, buddy! But like, he's from this dimension, you know? That's where it gets a little weird. But it is what it is. We got a power gem. Very cool to see it. So with that out of the way, Nitro, Mut Nitro Mutagen Nitro Spreeo is finished. It looks like Dingo Dial, our next enemy, has been unlocked. We'll be tackling him in the next episode. As um the, the motorcycle crash, Nitro Dingo Dial, break out the butter. I'm gonna make toast out of you. All right then, beat the gang. We'll work on this, I guess, the next episode. We'll save our progress between episodes as well. Um, we got Aku Zaku, Aku Aku's quests. But yeah, today we went to check out Coco. It was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. But here is all the stuff we need to do for him. All right then. So yeah, with that being said, is there anything else unlocked? Launch party, new season, time to to party. So I guess we have like different things here. All things I think we'll check out in the next episode of Crash Bandicoot on the Run. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.